nil. And goalkeeper Mervyn Day is one of them, former West Ham keeper, and indeed he was voted PFA Young Footballer of the Year while he was here. And then there's fellow defender Tommy Taylor. He had nine seasons here at Upton Park, and both he and Day won FA Cup winners' medals with West Ham in 1975. And not forgetting the other Taylor, Peter Taylor, so recently at Tottenham, and now the scorer of five goals in the last seven games. And indeed, this is the Orient side. It's the one that drew 1-1 with Watford yesterday. A busy time for winger John Chidozi. A week ago, he was playing for Nigeria in a World Cup match in Tanzania. Stan Bowles has got good memories of this ground. He always seemed to play well here when he came with Queen's Park Rangers. A good club having a good season. As for West Ham, well, they're licking their wounds after that defeat at QPR yesterday. Now without top scorer David Cross, who aggravated a rib injury in that game and came off. Today we learned, though, that there's no break, and indeed he might even be fit for next week's cup tie against Wrexham. Nicky Morgan gets a rare chance to lead the attack, and the cup final hero, Paul Allen, gets back to the big time as sub. The referee is Eric Reid of Bristol, yesterday in charge of the Nottingham Forest 4-1 win at Wolverhampton. Proof that referees have a busy Christmas too. Rusty local derby atmosphere here as Orient get us away attacking the goal to our right in the white shirts and Mayo almost in the word go there and in fact West Ham a little slow to close them down there and Mayo seemed on the verge of giving us a really sensational opening Joe Mayo who scored his first and only goal of the season at Chelsea last week well West Ham could have been caught there Mayo a little backward header and uh, Ray Stewart as things began to get a little difficult for West Ham in that penalty area, whacking the ball away into touch. West Ham, who are unbeaten at home since the opening day of the season when they were beaten by Luton. They've won their last 16 home games. An amazing record. Here's Brooking. Flip back there to Nicky Morgan, looking around to see what's available to him. And again, Orient take up the running and get a free kick. A foul by Lampard on Chidozi, and Chidozi pushing the West Ham defender away. The mark of the challenge, apparently, he feels still showing on his right leg. So Lampard goes back to defend. There are three men in the West Ham wall, as you can see. Bowles may well be the man who might produce something a little unexpected behind this free kick. Mayo's up, Nigel Gray's up on the far side. Bowles hitting for the outside of the boot there towards Ian Moores. And Stewart getting it away, but West Ham just can't get it away from their own penalty area at the moment. And another throw for Orient. Typical bit of bowls there, whacking that free kick to the outside of the boot, curling it there, and very accurate. kick to Orient. Five minutes gone. No score. And here come West Ham. Led by Brookie. Morgan going wide down the left for him. Here's Nicky Morgan. Taking up a good position there with Devonshire outside him as well. Morgan, a good shot. And that was too hot for Day to handle. And Orient in some trouble getting that away. But a terrific shot by Nicky Morgan that almost caught Mervyn Day out taken up a good position Nicky Morgan he really hit this ball as you can see way outside the box and it must have moved a little bit in the air and Brooking almost made something of it Devonshire beating Fisher well that's a great one because there was so little space for him and he's got support from Goddard there and from Brooking and on the far side there from Holland and Holland couldn't quite get to it here's Morgan Inside again for Stewart. Now he might line up a shot. Deflected wide of the goal off the number six, Steve Parsons. Good foraging attack there by West Ham. Stewart shot, catching the outstretched boot of Parsons and behind for the corner. And Day would have been stranded there by that one. But Orient getting it away with Ian Moores. Chilozzi. And Stewart right back there. To Phil Parks. Oh, no foul there. Into the referee. 
Taylor playing it for Roffey. Moore's beaten in the air, though, by Martin, and it'll fall for Bowles. Well, that goes straight to Devonshire. Goddard and Morgan are up. Devonshire again running at Fisher. Brooking trying to get outside him, and Devonshire just played it just a little too far ahead of him and uh, lost that moment. And it's with Parsons now for Orient. Mayo. Chidozi. Oh, challenged again very firmly, and it was an awkward challenge there by Lampard, who's going to get a yellow card. Chidozi was angry with uh, a challenge by Lampard quite early in the game. There was Lampard going in, certainly very hard indeed. Moores. Chidozi playing it in there. West Ham getting it away. It'll fall for Goddard now. And now West Ham. They've got a few forward. Holland leading the way. Brookings right up in there. It'll fall for Brookings and a chance maybe for him to get a shot in. Trying to pick his way through and hitting it just wide of Bay and wide of the post. And the agony on Brookings' face will tell you how close it was. A great move out of defence. Suddenly, Brooking was in all sorts of space here. They closed down on him quickly, as you can see, but he tried that little curler just wide of the post. And here's Taylor. Finding Chidozi. They really are combining well, Taylor and Chidozi. And here's Chidozi. Got all the... Well, he had all the pace in the world. That looked like a foul by Frank Lampard. And I thought for one moment the referee was feeling into a top pocket. And then he started to wave his hands and say no foul. Pike turned his man well there. Support from Morgan. But still with Pike, who hits a good shot. And Day turns it wide. Goddard it was with the shot. And Day turning it round. King with the corner for West Ham. Loaded a long way in there. Day under a lot of pressure. Indeed gets a free kick. A couple of old teammates there having a couple of words. Nicky Morgan and Mervyn Day. in in the end the ball eluded both of them there was no foul Lampard his first reaction Mayo went in very very late it seemed to be there on Lampard and gets a yellow card Mayo and Martin had gone for that ball in the first place and that was quite a collision Called a yellow card for Mayo and a free kick for West Ham. Out into Lampard. Towards Goddard. Fisher winning that in the air. Can Pike get there first? He can't because Gray made sure that he was. West Ham's throw. For Taylor. This will come for Billy Bonds. Holland playing it for Brooking. Might come now for Pike. No, oh, taken off his feet right at the last. Wanted maybe a fraction of a second longer than Orient would allow him. Goddard now for West Ham. Supported by Devonshire. Still with Goddard inside the box, trying to get something on the turn there. Pike again. Charged down. They say handball. But the referee didn't want to know. And Stewart shot ends up over the crossbar and in the crowd. So, a good bit of action again there from West Ham. Almost a minute of stoppage time has been played now as Parson finds Chidozi. It's Taylor. And it's going to be a throw to West Ham. Moores and now Parsons. We get a shot.
shot in, he will, and indeed it was Mark's turn then to get down. The ball bouncing just that little bit awkwardly in front of him as well. Coming towards two minutes of time added on being played. And there goes the half-time whistle. A lot of good attacking football from both sides. West Ham, if anything, have made maybe the better chances. But a half-time score here at Upton Park in the second division game. It's West Ham nil, Orient nil, and we'll be back with the second half. So West Ham get us away at the start of the second half. They now attack the goal to our right against an Orient side that lost only one of their last seven games. Had a good run. They're not scoring that many goals, but they're not giving that many away. came from Wimbledon last March from the fourth to the second division Steve Parsons Allen playing it wide here for Morgan and finding Brookie stopped by Parsons Moores with Roffey going outside him. Ian Moores with a shot. Well, that seemed to gather pace after it left Ian Moores' boot. And there was so little to spare there for West Ham. It looked as though it was going to be easily covered in the first place, but just look how close it was. That's a goal kick. Now it's going to be a free kick. Martin getting involved there. I don't know you saw the referee's lip reading there. He said number five come here. The yellow card is for Alvin Martin, the second West Ham player. Number three, Frank Lampard, already has the yellow card. Well, that's what it was for. Stewart, free kick. Being helped up by the West Ham fullback, and while Ray Stewart's doing the gallant thing, uh, Orient have taken the free kick, and uh, Roffey lost his way after that pass from Peter Taylor. Got it back to Peter Taylor. Oh, and now Roffey and Stewart getting in there, and Holland getting in between them, and there's an undercurrent of bad temper has been going through this game from about a quarter of an hour onwards. It's going to be another yellow card for another West Ham player, Ray Stewart. This is the instant again as Stewart went flattering into his man and then got involved, as you can see, right in the corner of your picture there. Oh, searching after Mayo, but Mayo's got clear. Played the ball in there. Peter Taylor playing it on for Stan Bowles. Richard Ozy in a bit of space on the far side. towards Mayo and Stewart doing exactly the right thing for West Ham. It's another corner for Orient, who are having the better of this second half. Bowles are going to take it, Parks overshadowing Chidozi there, and knocked over the top by Nigel Gray. These sides are separated by just a few miles of East London. Here's Devonshire, here's Morgan, a nice ball played back again by Morgan for Devonshire. A chip in by him and home! Beautiful goal for West Ham. Superbly created and efficiently taken by Pat Holland. Nicky Morgan playing a big part in it. Finding Devonshire, a lovely cross by him, and what about that for a headed shot by Pat Holland. West Ham won Orient nil with 20 minutes of the second half gone. Pat Holland the scorer. Here's Parsons again. 
A lot of good tapping and a lot of good prompting as well. Billy Bonds. Put that away well. To the man who scored the goal, Pat Holland. Here's Brooking. Oh, what's he doing? Hit it straight at Bowles. Got a second go. Goddard, backing away. What about that? And across there. Oh, and they lost it. And Orion scrambled that one away. It was a terrific piece of work by Paul Goddard, though. Really tigerish and whipping in that cross. And it looks as though West Ham are going to bring their substitutes. Paul Allen on. Had some problems with injury and then problems getting back into the side. And be number three, Lampard uh, thinking of taking off. Well, that's a shove in the back there. And in fact, it's a free kick to Orient. That really was a shove in the back there by Frank Lampard on John Chidozzi. And Frank Lampard, I think, is going to come off. Which will cause a certain amount of reconstruction of the West Ham side as little Paul Allen comes on. The youngster who played in the cup final against Arsenal at Wembley last May. Bowles, flicking it in there, and behind, behind for a corner from the head of Jeff Pike. So can Bowles pulling another? Now it's Parsons this time, who's taking this corner for Orient. And a good fist away. Parsons again, lifting a good one back in there, and Chidozzi! Chidozzi! One one. Oh, that's the first corner, I think, that uh, Parsons has taken. Bowles has been taking them all. And it came back out to him again. And just look how far West Ham allowed that to go off the post. And off the post again. And an absolute gift for John Chirosi. 1-1. Here's Holland, the scorer, John Chirosi then for Orient. And here's Brooking now for West Ham. Stewart crossing one in there. Morgan didn't get to that one. Stewart again. Pike, Stewart, Volkin. So John Chijosi, the scorer for Orient, and uh, what a valuable goal, his eighth of the season. Tony Bonds winning it, Holland in danger of losing it out to Peter Taylor. Bonds was right in there, Roffey too. Bonds again, Stewart, no, it's Alvin Martin whacking that one away. Nigel Gray getting it into Mayo. A real cut and thrust atmosphere now, and it's really exciting as we come to inside the last quarter of an hour of the game. And it's still poised at 1 1. Oh, there's an overhead, could be dangerous. Parks catching it well. Martin, space ahead of him, and that galloping run. Pike, made wide for Devonshire. A little chip in there towards Brooking and how well Parsons had uh, marked him out of it. Fisher finding Bowles. And Bowles putting it back into a danger area really there. And now Devonshire trying to get the cross in. And somehow again Orient got it away. Played wide again for Devonshire. Leading off the challenge of Chidozi. And going past the challenge of Fisher. There's the left foot cross pulled back this time for Pike. Unbelievable! What about that? How can you hit a post like that and it not go in? Is what Jeff Pike is saying to himself. Devonshire, who performed wonders here. First time against that post and away. So still 1-1. And 
shot. That time by Stewart, who'd come in quickly, but behind for the goal kick. Stewart coming in quickly there. But uh, wide of that Orient goal. Taylor, the long ball there. And seven minutes from the end now. there, Allen lining up a shot oh, terrific goal by Paul Allen well the youngsters come on and made it an absolute dream substitution it was a mistake by Parsons in the first place that really gave possession to West Ham and then little Paul Allen stepped up and what about that for finishing so West Ham now 2-1 into the lead Paul Allen the scorer and Orient are not dead yet though they've shown already this afternoon that they can create opportunities Goddard, a little flick there, but that'll give it back to Orient again and a chance for them to push it forward. The referee looking at his watch again. Moore's chesting it down for Parsons. Mayo's in there. Parsons again. And that should be Phil Parks' with no trouble at all. Well, you've got to give a lot of credit to Orient. They've really battled and they've held West Ham to this 2-1 with a lot of spirit about the play as well. But it looks very much now as though it's going to be West Ham who get those two vital points that will certainly keep them at the top of the second division. Goals by Pat Holland and a superb one by Paul Allen, the substitute. And in the 